During its heyday, the advanced F-14 Tomcat fighter had only one foreign customer, Iran. Under the Western-aligned Shah Mohammad Reza Pahlavi in 1976, Iran opted to purchase 80 Tomcats over the F-15 Eagle, proving to be a worthwhile investment. Even after transitioning from Imperial Iran to the Islamic Republic of Iran following the 1979 revolution, the Iranian Air Force continued to boast some of the world's finest Tomcat pilots. According to researcher Tom Cooper, Iranian F-14s achieved 50 air-to-air -air victories in the first six months of the Iran-Iraq War, outperforming Iraqi MiG-21s, MiG-23s, and Su-20s. Remarkably, only one F-14 was lost during this period, demonstrating that the designer's goal of creating a MiG killer had been successfully realized. Iran's and the F-14's success is particularly notable given that Iranian air crews operated without proper support from AWACS, AEW, or ground control. The F-14 Tomcat is an iconic fighter aircraft renowned for its distinctive variable sweep wings and versatile capabilities. Developed by Grumman Aerospace Corporation for the U.S. Navy, the F-14 served as a primary maritime air superiority fighter, fleet defense interceptor, and tactical reconnaissance platform from the early 1970s until its retirement in 2006. The Tomcat left an indelible mark on aviation history and popular culture, cementing its status as one of the most recognizable aircraft of the 20th century. The development of the F-14 Tomcat can be traced back to the early 1960s, when the U.S. Navy sought a new fleet air defense fighter to replace the aging F-4 Phantom II. The new aircraft needed to address the emerging threat of long-range Soviet bombers and anti-ship missiles. The Navy initially embarked on the Tactical Fighter Experimental, or TFX, program, which aimed to create a joint fighter for both the Navy and Air Force. However, differing requirements led to the Navy withdrawing from the program, resulting in the creation of the F-111B, which ultimately proved unsatisfactory. In response, the Navy initiated the Naval Fighter Experimental, or VFX, program, which led to the selection of Grumman's design for the F-14 Tomcat. Grumman's proposal offered a twin-engine, two-seat aircraft with advanced avionics and weapons systems, including the AIM-54 Phoenix long-range air-to-air missile. One of the F-14's most distinctive features is its variable sweep wing, which allows the aircraft to optimize its aerodynamic performance across various speeds and altitudes. The wings can be swept forward for improved maneuverability during dogfights or swept back for high-speed intercepts. This adaptability makes the F-14 highly versatile and capable of air superiority and strike missions. The Tomcat's cockpit featured a tandem seating arrangement for the pilot and the radar intercept officer, or RIO. The RIO managed the aircraft's radar and weapon systems, making the F-14 an early example of a fighter with a dedicated weapon system operator. The plane was equipped with the ANAWG-9 radar, one of the most advanced radar systems of its time, capable of tracking up to 24 targets simultaneously and guiding up to six AIM-54 Phoenix missiles to six different targets. The F-14 was powered by two Pratt & Whitney TF-30 P-412A after-burning turbofan engines, providing a maximum speed of Mach 2.34 and a combat radius of over 500 nautical miles. The aircraft's armament included a 20mm M61 Vulcan cannon and a variety of air-to-air -air missiles, including the AIM-7 Sparrow and AIM-9 Sidewinder. The F-14 Tomcat entered service with the U.S. Navy in 1974, replacing the F-4 Phantom II. Its first operational deployment occurred aboard the USS Enterprise, CBN-65, in 1975. 
the Tomcat proved its worth as a fleet defense interceptor, capable of engaging multiple threats at long ranges. During the Cold War, the F-14 was critical in deterring Soviet aircraft and protecting American naval assets. Its long-range radar and missiles made it a formidable adversary for any potential aggressor. The Tomcat's capabilities were demonstrated in several high-profile incidents, including the 1981 Gulf of Sidra incident, where F-14 shot down two Libyan Su-22 fitters. In addition to its air superiority role, the F-14 also carried out tactical reconnaissance missions. The TARPS, or Tactical Airborne Reconnaissance Pod System, allowed the Tomcat to gather valuable intelligence, further enhancing its versatility. The F-14 also saw combat in Operation Desert Storm in 1991, providing air cover and reconnaissance support. As the Cold War ended and newer aircraft like the F-A-18 Hornet entered service, the F-14's role began to evolve. The Tomcat continued to serve as a fleet defense fighter, but it also took on ground attack missions using precision-guided munitions. The F-14D, the final variant of the Tomcat, featured upgraded engines, avionics, and weapon systems, further extending the aircraft's service life. However, the cost of maintaining the aging F-14 fleet became a concern, and the aircraft was decided to retire. The F-14 Tomcat was officially retired from U.S. Navy service on September 22, 2006. The F-A-18 EF Super Hornet, a more modern and versatile multi-role fighter, took over its duties. The F-14 Tomcat remains one of the most iconic aircraft in aviation history. Its distinctive appearance, advanced capabilities, and storied service record have made it a symbol of American air power. The Tomcat gained further fame through its portrayal in popular culture, most notably in the 1986 film Top Gun. Despite its retirement, the F-14's legacy endures. Pilots, aviation enthusiasts, and the general public fondly remember the aircraft. Its influence can be seen in modern fighter designs, and several F-14s are preserved in museums worldwide, serving as a testament to the aircraft's significant role in naval aviation. Today, Iran is the world's only operator of the F-14. Iran still operates about two dozen Tomcats. Reports indicate that the F-14 was recently used in combat as a bomber escort for sorties over Syria. The U.S. retired the airframe in 2006, replacing it entirely with a successive F-A-18. The U.S., credibly paranoid about industrial espionage, shredded most of the retired F-14s for fear that Iran would acquire components from the preserved Tomcats. Only 11 intact F-14s survived the purge, remaining in storage at davis Monthan Air Force Base in the Boneyard. Fortunately, the F-14 lives on in perpetuity, in film, in Top Gun, preserved in the Library of Congress.